Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm gonna do a pasta recipe and I'm gonna share it with you and I'm gonna use this product called Skinny Pasta. It's an awesome product because it's low in carbs, great for me because I've been a big fan of low carb diet for a really long time. It works for me amazingly and it's high in protein and high in fiber. So now I just have to go to the store, pick up some basic ingredients and then we're gonna cook. I'm going to the store, Santino. Is that okay? I'm going to the store. You're going to the store? Yeah, I'm gonna cook some pasta. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna beep that out. <laughs> so I went to Gosens. I grabbed Parmesan cheese, I grabbed basil, and I always go for the entire plant, even though it never lasts. And I grabbed garlic. So these are the only ingredients that I need for this recipe. I'm having my snack. So let's go home and let's cook it. Hey! Okay, so I'm ready to do this. Here are my tools and my ingredients. I'm gonna start with the lemons. I'm gonna juice these two lemons. And then I'm gonna need another lemon for a lemon zest. Look how pretty my basil looks. So, let's do this. So you're gonna take a large bowl and you're gonna juice two lemons. You need fresh juice from two lemons. Then take one of the lemons that you just squeezed and you're gonna grate the zest into the bowl as well. I'm gonna use this grater, so just grate the zest from an entire lemon. Now the Parmesan cheese, we're gonna grate the Parmesan cheese and mix it in with the lemon juice and lemon zest. The recipe asks for 100 grams of grated Parmesan cheese, but um, I don't know how much that is in cups. I just know that I would like at least half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. So that's what I'm doing. Finish it. Oh, wait. Are you filming? Uh -huh. Sorry, are you talking? No. I think that should be good. That's a lot of Parmesan cheese. Yummy. I love that. And now uh, one cup of garlic. Now two and a half tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. One, two, and three. Now handful of the fresh basil, um, just roughly torn. You don't have to chop it or anything, just tear it apart, throw it into the bowl. Now a little bit of salt, freshly ground pepper, and mix it in. So now you just have to boil the pasta. I have a pot of boiling water right here. So I'm gonna add the pasta and it cooks only for one minute. That's it. 59, 58, 57. When the pasta is done, take tongs and transfer the fettuccine into the bowl. Now transfer the pasta onto a plate, add some fresh basil and fresh parsley and your meal is done. And it's low in carbs, high in protein, low in calories and it's freaking delicious. It's really good. Mm. So it's really good, but I would really ease down on the lemon. Maybe 
half a lemon juice would be sufficient enough so guys if you make it at home uh, do it first out of half a lemon juice and then if you feel like it you can always add more but I would really ease down on it otherwise it's really good the pasta is really good Bon appetit enjoy your meal dobrou chuť and I will see you guys soon ciao mm, mm. so good